there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the Christmas home decor tag or the Christmas decor tag. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but anyhow, this was thought up by Lori over at Graceful and Lovely. I will link her channel down below. She's got a wonderful channel full of beautiful home decor, uh, lots of hauls, lots of DIYs and stuff like that. So anyhow, if you haven't heard of her channel, go check it out, it is great. So I will just jump right in. There are, let's see, 11 questions and I have them down on my phone here. So let's just get started. Question number one is what is your decor style? and eclectic, that's all I can, I always say it's eclectic and it, it pretty much is. Um, and I do the same for my Christmas decor, it's pretty eclectic. So words that I think of when I think of my style are thrifted, obviously, and um, a little bit vintage. I also like classic. I like a little bit of Scandinavian style, but uh, overall just eclectic. Number two, when do you start decorating? I usually start decorating probably I don't know, maybe November, I'd say. Maybe I push it to December 1st, but anyhow, our because I'm in Canada, our Thanksgiving is actually in October, and so that's sort of out of the way, and between October and Christmas, there aren't any sort of decorating type holidays, so b basically I can go from sort of fall, Halloween, right into Christmas pretty quickly. We do have Remembrance Day, which is November 11th. I do celebrate that holiday, obviously, but it doesn't really impact when I decorate for um, Christmas. So anyhow, basically, <laughs> It's all over the place. I decorate anytime. This year is a little bit different because our house is on the market, so I can't go full on Christmas just because I have to keep the space sort of neutral. But anyway, that is what I normally do. I'm hoping to get into a new house soon enough so that I can start uh, decorating soon. Number three, what is your favorite color to decorate with? I like the classic red and green. I also like black and white, so I basically decorate in those four colors. And if I had to pick a metal tone, I would pick sort of a warmer gold or maybe bronze. So I veered more towards sort of warmer colors. Number four, do you change your decor theme every year? No, I'm pretty much stick to the same eclectic style every year. I found that over the past couple years I've been adding a bit more sort of natural things into my decor, but other than that, it's pretty much the same all the time. <laughs> Number five, what's your favorite winter candle? I really can't answer this question because I don't really have a favorite winter candle. I find that I'm quite sensitive to different scents and stuff, especially synthetic ones. So, I mean, there are a couple candles that I do like, but um, for the most part, I don't really like scented candles unless they're with sort of an essential oil or something like that where I don't find that they're too strong. Number six, what's your favorite thing to decorate with? Uh, it would have to be thrifted items. <laughs> Anything thrifted, I love. Our garage sale finds, I love. Um, but I also like to decorate, like I mentioned before, with nature, natural things, pine cones from outside, little foliage from outside, berries, that sort of thing. So anything that I can find in my yard and bring inside, I like to use. Number seven, how do you decorate the outside of your home? So we just do the same thing every year and that is uh, warm white lights, like Christmas lights, the big bulbs. We put them around our front window, like our big front bay window, and then we also put them on a little tree that we have uh, beside our window. So just that is enough for me outside. I really love the look of a classic white light outside the house, but I also put a wreath on the front door. Number eight, what's your favorite room to decorate? I guess that would have to be the room where the Christmas tree is and usually that is in our living room. So um, I really love to decorate our Christmas tree. It is sort of a mishmash of things, there's not a theme to it necessarily, but uh, that is my favorite thing to decorate. And then just around we have a, like a faux mantle, a really old wood shelf that we have. I like to decorate that now that I have it. So yeah, the living space, living and dining room basically. Number nine, what's your most meaningful piece of Christmas decor? I think that has to be sort of the Christmas decorations that I have for our tree that came from my tree when I was a kid. So I have a couple uh, that I've sort of inherited from my parents and uh, I just love putting those ones up every year. Number 10, fake tree or real tree? Always real tree. <laughs> we go uh, usually to a Christmas tree farm and uh, chop it down. Um, but with the kids being little, like the past couple years, we haven't because it's usually quite cold when we do that and it just ends up being not so fun because the kids are cold or I'm cold. And so uh, we haven't done that the past couple years. We've gone just to a Christmas tree lot, which is fun as well. But I'm excited to get back to the Christmas tree farm now that the kids are a little older. Number 11, any Christmas decorating tips? And 
just the same thing that I say every time for decorating is you do you. So you may see something that looks really beautiful for someone else and you're like, oh, I really love that. I can and appreciate that. But if you don't bring that into your home, if that's not your style. So you can find inspirations all over, but really find out what your decorating style is and decorate for any holiday based on your decorating style. I think you'll be much more comfortable in your home if that is what you do. So yeah, that is the tag. I hope that you enjoyed it. I loved participating in this tag because I'm very excited to sort of start Christmas stuff, but I am a little bit on hold because of my life circumstances. But uh, anyhow, thank you Lori again for the tag. And if you are watching this and you haven't been tagged before, then you are now tagged if you'd like to do this video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel but want to see more videos from me, you might as well hit the red subscribe button below and we will see you in the next one. Bye!